Welcome to my unboxing of the Momentus XT. Now this is not your father's or your grandfather's or your slightly older brother's Momentus XT. This is the new second generation Momentus XT. So this is a 750 gig drive. If you guys remember, the original Momentus XT only went up to 500 gigs. It also has, instead of four gigs of SLC flash built in, it has eight gigs of SLC flash, which is, in terms of write speeds, is almost double the speed of the original Momentus XT, which makes a huge difference in write operations. And in terms of read operations, it is about 70% faster. And really most of what you're gonna be doing with a Momentus XT from the flash side of things is gonna be reads. So it will be, in short, significantly faster than the original Momentus XT. It's still a 7200 RPM drive in spite of the two and a half inch slim notebook form factor. So this is all about use in notebooks. What other improvements have they made? Well, they have, okay, fast technology, which I think is actually kind of clever, flash-assisted storage technology. They have upgraded the, uh, the, well, I can't really call it software. It's more of a firmware because it's part of the, the drive's inner workings. But they have upgraded their fast technology, their flash-assisted storage, to be more efficient, including a really cool thing called Fast Factor Boot, which the very first time you use the Momentus XT second-generation product to boot up your notebook, it will cache all of your boot files into the 8 gig SSD. Then it will leave them there forever. Well, not, not, not forever. If you, you, know, you have a different OS, it'll, it'll eventually overwrite them. But the point is that if you have it booted up for a long time, you use a bunch of different programs even over and over and over again, it will not flush those boot files out of the SSD. What that gives you is compared to the original Momentus XT, significantly better performance when booting or when resuming from sleep or doing anything that involves bringing your OS from a non-operational state to an operational state. In practice, it performs similarly similarly to an SSD, but not quite there in terms of its boot performance because it's pretty much running it entirely off the SSD, but not 100%. So this wouldn't be an unboxing unless I went through the mounting options. So we've got our hard drive screw mounts here and here. And finally here, this is a SATA 3 6 gigabit per second drive. So they have also upgraded the interface from SATA 2 3 gigabit per second. Although I would speculate that on a drive like this, it's not going to make that much of a difference. In fact, most drives on the market don't benefit from SATA 3, but it's there in case you want. SATA power is also here. And I want you guys to stay tuned to my NCIX comm channel because I'm going to be doing more of a performance evaluation of this drive versus a SATA 3 SSD versus a regular desktop 7200 RPM drive and also going through all of the technologies that are involved in it in more detail. So thank you for checking out this unbagging online is Tech Tips and don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, unbaggings, reviews and other computer videos from me.